Who built Stonehenge? What really is an Area 51? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? These are some of the greatest questions in the universe, but perhaps the greatest is, does size matter? You might think it does, but certainly members of the animal kingdom disagree. These are times animals proved size does not matter. Number 15. Cat versus Snake Later on in this video, we'll be looking at footage of animals taking on opponents far bigger than themselves, David versus Goliath style. But before all that, let's take a look at what happened when a cat decided to tussle with a snake. Given how small and cute kittens are, you think they wouldn't dare do battle with a snake. Now, sure, the snake may be smaller than the kitten, but snakes are aggressive, vicious things, and cats are so cute and wonderful, surely they're too small and kind, but not this cat. He proves that it doesn't matter how small and cute you are, as he shows this snake who's boss. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Leopards are bigger than hyenas. Jungle cats in general are big and domineering. That's why Scar was able to turn the hyenas into his personal foot soldiers. But this photo shows that even though hyenas are smaller than leopards, that doesn't mean they can't throw that weight around and take charge when they want to. This dastardly hyena has the confidence of a much larger animal as he swooped in and snatched a poor cub right from under the mother leopard. Quite why he did that, we'll never know, but he sure did. The hyena ran away, the cub in its teeth prompting the mother to give chase. According to our sources, the mother did eventually get her cub back, but the hyena sure gave her some trouble. Who'd have thought this little guy could do that? As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Husky vs. Polar Bear The polar bear is a world champion. It is the biggest predator on land anywhere. In its habitat, which surrounds the Arctic ice cap and includes parts of Russia, Canada, and the United States, it is the supreme apex predator. It is a species known to be hypercarnivorous, meaning more than 70% of what it eats is meat. This is pretty bad news for Arctic seals, since the polar bear likes to eat those the most. In fact, I'm pretty sure a polar bear could eat almost anything it felt like, if it were given the chance. So what chance does a pet dog stand against one of these incredible giant bears? Normally none, unless you happen to be this incredibly brave husky, which goes completely nuts when a big polar bear comes to check out the human camp he is guarding. <coughs> The bear actually seems kind of intimidated and ready to back off? Huskies, like their cousins, the Malamutes, have a lot of wolf blood in them. And you can see that, right here, in this fearless defense of its territory. Good boy, thanks for not letting the big bad bear eat me. Number 13. Duck vs. Dog so if the polar bear is the biggest and most badass predatory animal in the world, but it is beaten by a dog, does that mean that dogs are the most badass animals in the world? Well, it might, if it weren't for this ferocious, savage, terrifying little duck. The duck is doing a far better job of showing his strength than the polar bear ever did, chasing the dog round and round a rock. And it's not just mindless bravery either, this duck has got brains. He gets the dog going in circles, only to stop and turn and start chasing him the other way. The poor dog has nowhere to go, and no way of outsmarting the mighty duck. By the way, do you remember the Mighty Ducks? Classic movie. And the good news is, it's coming back as a TV show, with Emilio Estevez and everything. Anyway, back to the never-ending duck chase. An update on the story, the duck is still chasing the dog around the rock four years later, although they are now both both running around in a ditch that's about four miles deep. Number 12. Golden Eagle vs. Deer Life as a deer ain't easy, 
It kind of sucks to be the tastiest animal in the forest, which just happens to be filled with all kinds of predators all over the world. Wherever there are deer, there's something planning to go out and eat a deer. Usually though, this kind of thing involves a chase around the land, and the deer can at least try to outrun the wolf with its speed and agility, but not this unfortunate deer. It has to contend with the awesome death from above that is the golden eagle. Golden eagles are huge raptors and have no fear trying to take prey that is truly enormous compared to their own size, which is pretty big. If you ever wanted a demonstration of how closely birds are related to the dinosaurs, then here it is. This is what life would have been like back when huge pterodactyls flew across the skies. The golden eagle shows the immense power of its talons, sending the deer to the ground within seconds of striking. That deer might be a lot bigger than the bird, but this eagle is one of the ultimate predators of the air. Number 11. Spider vs. Snake Here's the matchup of the two animals people are most phobic of, and if you happen to be afraid of spiders and snakes, then this could be a tough one to watch. This is a clash of two of Australia's most awesome species, the eastern brown snake and the redback spider. The eastern brown is the deadliest snake in Australia, responsible for 60% of snake bite fatalities in the country. The redback is a relative of the black widow and is no slouch either, being an exceptionally dangerous spider. This spider is known for slinging messy but super strong webs, and that's where it began to gain an advantage on an enemy far, far greater in size. The snake is caught in the web, and the spider edges closer to the thrashing snake. You can see the vivid red markings that identify this as a female redback. She goes in and bites the snake, immobilizing it. Branton Maher, who shot the video, confirmed that the spider was able to finish the job. Even if you are an insanely venomous snake, you do not want to mess with the redback spider. Number 10. Rat vs. Snake it's going to be an all-around bad couple of topics for snake lovers, I'm not gonna lie to you. This snake in the Italian city of Naples spots a baby rat and decides to scoop it up as a tasty little snack for later. But while making its way across the road and back to its snake kitchen to whip up a little baby rat pizza, the mama rat realizes one of her babies is missing, and she goes out on the warpath. She hunts that snake down, biting and scratching its tail with all the ferocious fighting spirit that rats are famous for. After multiple sustained attacks, the snake gives up and drops the baby rat, making a run for it. But Rat Mama isn't done yet. She leaves the baby rat in the road and carries on into the grass to teach that snake a lesson. Do not mess with rats or they will be on you like Tony Soprano. After politely explaining to the snake why it ought to leave her kids alone, and how she heard of a lot of snakes wearing concrete boots at the bottom of local rivers, she finally goes back to her baby, who seems to be okay, as long as they can avoid being obliterated by passing traffic, that is. Number 9. Wolf vs. Buffalo we all have our favorite meal, mine's pizza, although I gotta say not rat pizza. I prefer a margarita. One of the things I like about pizza is that it tastes good, like really good. The other thing I like about it is that it does not weigh 700 pounds, run really fast, and have massive horns that it likes to gouge stuff with. But that's what wolves have to face when they head out to grab a meal. These buffalo are not easy prey to catch, weighing more than anybody could ever dream of weighing, and they are willing to fight back. But that doesn't stop the hungry wolves from throwing themselves into the chase, and they are willing to risk everything to get a hold of one. As you can see here, one of the risks is getting a nasty stomp to the abdomen which causes the wolf to back off to catch its breath and eat a little snow. But one thing about wolves is that they are fearless hunters who will never give up, no matter how huge their prey may be. Number 8. Crow vs. Dog 
While eagles are all about their majestic flight and awesome attacking power, crows are really the wise asses of the bird world. Known to be one of the most intelligent species of any kind, let alone just birds, these little black ninjas are basically the pranksters of the natural world. It seems there's nothing they love more than going out to annoy other bigger animals, especially dogs. There's just something so satisfying about tweaking a dog's tail and flying away that crows can hardly resist this game. It's a kind of dangerous one at times, but like any well-practiced joker, the crow knows how to look away, duck down, and whistle like it's not up to anything suspicious every time the dog turns around. And then, just at the perfect moment, it gives that tail a tweak. They even work in teams like a little gang of street hustlers, making a fool of an old dog. And if the dog happens to be tied up, then they know they can tease it to their heart's content. You gotta love these mischievous crows and their funny tricks against a way bigger animal. Number 7. Vampire Bat vs. Chicken Bats are some of the strangest and creepiest creatures on the whole planet. First, they are currently on the list of possible suspects for starting this whole COVID deal that's been slightly troublesome for the entire planet. Can anyone even remember when all this started anymore? Anyway, even if they are not really to blame for that, they are still super creepy. And there are some species that are off the scale terrifying. I'm looking at you, vampire bat. On the one hand, vampire bats are really small, Look at him move. He's hungry, and his two sharp crystal-like canines are going to end his burning thirst. But on the other hand, they usually drink the blood of their victims. Not only that, they scare their victims first with some screeching to get that blood really pumping. Then, they go right in and get their fangs stuck into a much bigger chicken. And the part they aim for is the chicken's butthole for some reason. Once Dracula here has had his first bite of KFC, he invites his buddies over and pretty soon they are draining this chicken dry like Ernest Hemingway on his morning Bloody Mary. This is not always so easy for the bats as chickens, in spite of their reputation as, well, chicken, will often fight back and kill the bats, but I guess this one was just like, eh, do whatever. Number 6. Goat vs. Bull Bulls are some of the most impressive animals in the world, and humans have worshipped them as gods and fought with them in the bull ring in Spain. Their reputation is of an animal that is strong, aggressive, and will fight bravely until death. Apparently, this goat has not heard about this, and he seems to be determined to prove that the mighty ram is superior to the bull in every way. This is Capricorn vs. Taurus, the final showdown. Only there's a pretty huge size difference going on here, and the goat is nowhere near as big as his sparring partner, but nonetheless, he shows no fear and is ready to go head to head, literally, with this giant bull. Goats are known for their mischievous and sometimes bad-tempered natures. All we can hope is that this goat doesn't learn the hard way that he'd be better off picking on someone his own size. Like little brother and big brother, they are figuring each each other out. But judging by the rooster sprinting in the background, there's word of an even more exciting fight breaking out nearby. Number 5. Rooster vs. Horse And it turns out that Charging Rooster was late for his big title fight against a horse. That's right, the rooster does not fear anything, even a horse that's like 50 times its size. These are the original angry birds, and they are willing to try and intimidate pretty much any animal that crosses their path, and they don't care how big their challenger might be. The horse dances around, looking to give this pest a kick or a stomp, but the rooster slides and swerves, ducks and uses all of its agility to stay clear of the horse's hooves, Ooh. 
while getting a couple of pecks into the horse's legs at the same time. Pretty soon the rooster has got the horse on the run. When you think about it, these angry animals are just about the most annoying in the world. They start the day at the crack of dawn by screaming as loud as they can, and then they try to mate with every chicken in sight before finishing the day by attacking all the other animals in the farmyard, even the horses. Damn rooster, you are seriously annoying. Number 4. Warthog vs. Lion with a big pair of tusks, it's not too hard to see why a lot of predators are wary of attacking a warthog. Even if these cool-looking wild pigs do taste of mouth-watering bacon, but a lion? Surely a lion has nothing to worry about when faced with a warthog. For a start, just look at the rippling muscles of this lioness. These big cats are incredibly strong and powerful, and ought to be able to bat a warthog to one side like it's not even there. But this lioness makes the mistake of grabbing one of the warthog mama's babies, hoping to make off with the tasty little pig. The warthog mother isn't about to be pushed around by some lady lion. Acting like the Karen of the animal kingdom, she goes bowling in tusks first, and shows the lion just what she thinks of kidnappers, or piglet nappers. Anyway, the tactic works, as sure enough, the baby warthog manages to escape from the lion's mouth and is still able to run like crazy away from the huge predator, all thanks to one great mama. Number 3. Honey Badger vs. Lion So the lion lost out to a warthog, which was able to defend itself with its fearsome tusks, but surely this was just a freak incident. Under normal circumstances, a lion could defeat almost any animal on the planet. Some tiny little creature like, say, a badger would be hopeless against a lion, right? And how about pitting a badger against six lions? Now it's just brutality. Nature sure can be cruel. Godspeed, little badger. Oh, hold on a minute. That's no ordinary badger. That's a honey badger. One thing you need to know about the honey badger is that it is the rowdiest, fightingest, most badassest animal alive on this planet. No contest. And this little honey badger, weighing no more than 20 pounds, uses all of his insane aggression, stamina, and courage to face off against six lions. Scratching around in the dirt, minding his own business, the honey badger runs into a couple of lions. Looks like the game is over when the lion gets a big paw on the badger and starts to chew on its head, but the honey badger does not give up. He bites right back and hard. He's taking plenty of damage, but he's laying into those lions, making them jump. Then his buddy comes right up and is like, I'm with you, brother. We'll die gloriously together the only way a honey badger knows how. Fighting like crazy. And you know what? These two crazy brawlers got out of there alive. Number 2. Mongoose vs. Snake the King Cobra is one of the most fearsome critters in the whole world. This is the largest venomous snake on Earth, and they can raise themselves up high enough to look a man straight in the eye. They have an iconic hood, which they flare out as a warning to anything that dares to screw with them, and screwing with the King Cobra is a seriously bad idea, as they have a massive bite, which can inject a huge yield of venom into their victim, enough to kill a man in 30 minutes. So why would anything ever go near them? Well, the answer is that basically nothing ever does. Except for the cute and furry little mongoose. The mongoose looks like the kind of thing a cobra would like to eat. But in fact, it's the other way around. With amazing agility, total fearlessness, and a special protein in their blood, mongooses are a king cobra's worst nightmare. It's a dangerous game, but one which the mongoose often wins, something not many other species can ever manage to do against these mighty snakes. Number 1. Python vs. Alligator you ever get that Thanksgiving feeling where you may have eaten just a teensy tiny little teeny bit too much? We've all been there. And snakes go there pretty often, especially the big ones like this python. They sometimes eat smaller things like rats and mice, but occasionally they go for a real banquet and take down something huge swallow it whole, and then go into a literal food coma for a long time while they try and digest their meal. 
But lucky for you, your Thanksgiving meal probably doesn't have too much in a way of sharp teeth and claws. Unless you have a turkey with a little too much GMO. But this python decided to go for the meal to end all meals and try out some alligator meat. Only it seems like in the struggle, the python hadn't managed to constrict the reptile hard enough to actually make sure it was dead before he began gulping it down. About halfway through, it seems as though the gator decided he wanted out, and the only exit was through the python's body. The end result was pretty bad for them both, but it goes to show that if you're hungry enough, size does not matter. What's the hungriest you've ever been? Have you ever won a fight against something bigger than you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.